Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying another bonefish fly for you. This is a 90 percenter. <clears throat> really good fly for big bonefish. Um, full of movement, well worth tying up. Um, so, as always there will be a materials list in the description below along with a link to Patreon for anybody who would like to support the channel, be eligible for future giveaways and a link to some social media. So I've got the hooking device and I've run on a bed of tan thread. This is the hooks on SL11 uh, 3H Gamakatsu, size 2. Um, this is a kind of standard size I would tie this in. No smaller than a 4, uh, definitely. And maybe up to a 1, 1 or You can tie them big. Um, and I'm attaching here the largest size dazzle eye. Right? Um, you can adjust the weight to suit yourself, but bear in mind that you do need a fair bit of weight to keep this fly pinned to the bottom. Um, it's got quite a large wing. And if there's decent current flow, it will uh, it could be it could tumble if it's too light. You want it sitting firmly on the bottom, not moving. So get the eyes figurated on. And then I'll tie in my tail, which is just root beer crystal flash. And I'd like it to be slightly tapered, just slightly, not too much, and about a shank length off the back. Just catch that in, tie it the length of the body. Come on, and just trim your waist. Just a bit. Leaving yourself a nice smooth underbody. I often see people who tie it in and cut it here, and then you get a kind of horrible bump. You don't want that. You want a, your waist to be the length of the underbody. It's more secure as well. So, <clears throat> the body is a. Uh, Shrimp crystal flash, it's pearly dyed shrimp. You could just prob use pearl, I mean, you can change the colour to suit, but uh, you hardly notice the colour of the shrimp, it's so like pearl. That would be like my first thing if I couldn't get a hold of the pearl, uh, the shrimp, sorry. So, again, tie that the length of the body. I'm just got to Make sure it's nice and smooth. And I'll come over the eyes again in a few wraps. That this really anchors them because you're anchoring them to the with the thread that you've already tied up and down the shank a couple of times. Um, makes your eyes much more solid. Just make sure that I've not caught any of the tail, and I'm just going to wind this forward. When I come to the eyes, I'm just, I'm just going to figure it through them. Tie it off in the hook gap side. And then I'll take the, take the thread right down to nearly the hook eye. Then I'll fold this crystal flash back. Tie over it, and that's your under wing. Oops. Length. About the same as your tail. I like to cut them kind of uneven. Then we're ready for the second wing, which is... You can use Arctic Fox or... Uh, tanuki, fin raccoon, any uh, any of those three really, something, a nice soft hair. And 
you want quite a quite a big bunch. See, I've got quite a heavy wing. I'm going to take the extreme, the extremely short under fur out, and then to fluff it up, we'll just hold it tight and just brush it with the Velcro, and that opens it up, makes it really wispy. Really improves the wing. It just makes the fly behave better. So length, same. Just coming to the back of the fly. You want some of the towards the tips of the the fox. Some of that pearly crystal flash will be kind of quite clearly visible. I'll just come in. A few wraps. And you can use your thumb to sort of widen it, spread it slightly. Then I'll trim away my waist. Take my thread to the front and I'll, I'll bring it back into the cut ends so that you get a more secure tie in. And then the last thing to tie in is some golden craft fur. Right, this is, it depends um, which company you buy your craft fur from. Yeah, this is the Sibai stuff, I, I really like it. It's, it's almost kind of similar to polar fibre. Really translucent, really nice. Um, and that, their colour is golden brown, but it's a bit like the golden... Uh, Rainies and colour. So I'm just sort of aligning these. You want quite a sparse, sparse bunch. I'm going to tie them right along the top. The same length as the Arctic Fox. And just to make sure it's sort of, it doesn't spread out too much, I'll just pull up, just pull straight up, and then lock it down. And that keeps it as a sort of thin strip along the top, you can see there. It just gives you a nice wee contrast pattern. I'll keep missing bits, trim away the waist. Tidy up, build a nice thread nose, and you can just come in. Quick finish. Finish it off, we'll come in between the eyes. With some UV resin. You could use epoxy if you like. And just come on to the top of the Cover all the thread. And there you go, that's the ninety percenter. Really good fly for big bones, as I say. Along with the Simram, this is probably my favourite. Um, for areas where the fish want a bigger fly with a lot of movement. Uh, especially when it's sitting still, right? This is the kind of thing you intercept the fish, give it a bump, maybe at one strip, and then just watch the fish for a pickup once it's seen the fly. Just let it sit there. 
So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye.